Okay, peeps, we are on to the final area for the makeup, and I guess I should look at the camera. Hi! Um, once again, this is the final. This is lips. Lips. Kind of like Sebastian off of Little Mermaid. Good to push your lips like this and bat your eyes like this. Well, anyway, um, so lips are one of my favorite parts to do. Um, I'm really blessed to have pretty nice lips if you don't have a very large lip. I know there are lip plumpers or um, ways to outline your lips to make them look larger. I don't need to do that and so I really know nothing about it to be 100% honest so that's when you YouTube things for people with smaller lips. Best your, that's your best bet. I have found these um, amazing fun colors on wish.com again. Um, that I use for lipsticks. They are so much fun and they're cheap. I think the most I paid for any one of them is a two bucks and then the shipping. So maybe four with shipping, which for a single lip color is amazing. These are long wear. This one here is QI or QI Best. Um, there's that one. Um, Cause we're gonna do green to go along with the green theme. Cause why not? And then these are Studio Shine Lip Lusters, and I've got them in a variety of colors um, from, I've got this really cool blue, and this awesome purple, um, I have some light blues, some black, dark blues, um, the skinny ones with the silver tops are Shiny Luster, and the um, black top ones are a matte. But in any case, they are super awesome lip colors in a variety of colors. I'm actually going to be ordering some yellow and some orange because I want to be able to do rainbow lips. And I think that would be awesome. So I'm just going to do it. But anyway, um, this is what I'm using today. I'm going green to go with my green theme on the eyes. Um, and so let's get to it. Um, I have gone over some of my lips with even a, if you look, with a little bit of the foundation so it kind of blends in so that when I go and put the lipstick on it gives a really defined look. Um, and again we're going to be using glitter because what's life without a little glitter? Nothing. Um, and. I literally put the glitter on these in the same way as I put the glitter on my eyes with my brush and my little bit of um, hand sanitizer. Now one thing I will caution you, I didn't mention when I did the glitter in the other video, you don't want to rub really when you put it on your eyes or your lips because, because it's alcohol based it will rub your eyeliner or whatever off. You just want to gently tap it where you want it and then it'll stay in within a minute or two it dries and it's long wearing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this really funky almost like swampy color um, which I know people go ew but when you get your sparkles on top it looks really awesome. So I'm going to use this swampy color similar to the color of my eyeliner here or of the dark end around my eyes. I'm going to start in the corners of the mouth and I always do a darker edge and then a brighter on the center. Um, and unfortunately, the other green that I ordered is not here yet. So I'm going to have to kind of play with it um, to see if I can get it to do what I want. I've got a product here by Mary Kay that's called an Intensity Controller. And it's just like a neutral shade that I've had forever. I don't even know if Mary Kay makes it anymore, but you can get a nude or a neutral shade lipstick um, and it should do the same thing. Um, and I am going to uh, put that in the very center and then put some of the glitter on it. And so we'll see how it pans out. I've never done this one before, but it'll be super fun. So let's go for it.
that's another thing I wanted to tell you guys is that if you're trying to line the lips and make them even, when you do your top, you can just kind of press your lips together. And it'll kind of give you a guideline as to what to use on the bottom. So that they look even. And as you can see, I've put that darker color. It doesn't have to be precise because when you blend it, it'll all look a little bit, you know, when you blend it all together, it's all going to look the same pretty much. So this is an even darker, but it's got like a green hue to it, which I really, really like. And I'm going to... put that luster shine stuff in the middle. I don't even know if you can see this, but the stuff in the middle has got some shine to it. And it's a little more black at its base instead of the green. So like I said, this is trial and error. This is new, so we'll find out together how it works. Okay, so there's my basic outline on the lips. And now I'm going to go in with that intensity controller. Ooh, I like that. And that kind of toned down that color a lot in the center so it made it less uh, in your face I guess I'm kind of in your face so whatever and then I'm gonna go back in with this brush and just like I did before you just load up your uh, hand sanitizer tap it in your glitter Oop. sound effects are optional but much more fun and then right on to See, sound effects are better, I'm telling you. Onto the lips. This is just standard basic cosmetic glitter, uh, safe for eyes or lips. Uh, one thing I will caution you against is I've seen videos where people said. Can you use uh, regular craft glitter? And the answer to that is no, 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 no. Craft glitter is not as fine. And it is not made for eyes or lips. And if you get it accidentally into your eyes, you can cut them. So, not recommended for use on the... On the... Uh, eyes. Now the lips are where I like to showcase a lot of glitter because I have a very sparkly personality. And I just draw that glitter towards the edges see super cute 
super super cute and that darker color underneath doesn't really make it look too crazy well I guess it looks crazy because it's green but uh, it doesn't make it look super dark it looks more fun and, and bright um, to do the uh, edges uh, this is that emerald that I was telling you about that I didn't show you last time um, could see better anyway I guess you'll have to deal with blurry because I am definitely not a camera person but this is that dark emeraldy screen and since my brush has already got the lighter green and everything blends anyway I'm just gonna touch it in that darker green and touch it back into that um, into the uh, glitter or I mean into the hand sanitizer and go with the darker here on the outer part so that it's still bright and sparkly but it's dark and bright and sparkly yeah that totally makes sense but And I make sure when I do it that I overlap the lighter green on the edges a little so that it blends. And it also helps get it up on the upper parts. So that's my glitter and as you can see I still don't have any fallout no glitter anywhere except where I want the glitter to be which straight up is awesome um, and I usually go out with really sparkly lips like this because I love sparkle and I've had people ask me a lot of times well what's the special occasion and my answer usually is just because because if we just want to look nice for the sake of looking nice why not look nice and oh and when she says the lip, the glitter doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't. I like, <laughs> I like kissing this one, and it almost never ends up on me. Not so, yeah. And, and so between your long-wearing lip wear and when you put the glitter over it, it doesn't go anywhere, which is awesome. Um, now, if you eat or drink, you will get the inner part will come off. That's true. But um, that, you know, I mean, if you wanted to touch it up with a little bit of your lip color after you eat or drink, if you drink through a straw or whatever, it's fine. But I wouldn't put something like this on and then turn around and immediately go eat a cheeseburger because seriously, it is the makeup. It will come off. But if you're just running around for the day, you know, it's not going to hurt anything. And um, if you're one who doesn't want to deal with the loose powders, I did want to show you these are also off of Wish.com because I'm obsessed um, and if you just type in glitter lip gloss or glitter lip color these will come up and they're in tubes now I will caution you um, that the aha there it is in fact the little um, brushes that come in it come off really really bad but these were I think free plus shipping so they were two dollars for the whole tube and they come in blues and purples and green and all different colors. Um, this is an iridescent, which is why I got it, because I really like the iridescent sparkle personally. Um, but I just put it on with, um, and it's sticky, so you don't even have to use the, um, the um, hand sanitizer. It just goes on, and it's a little sticky, and once it dries... Um, which it takes a little longer for that stuff to dry I want to say it's like three to five minutes and it feels more goopy but it's still pretty still does the effect my kids love it on their lips um, but I just put on the glitter stuff with like one of these little disposable guys and I even keep one and reuse it if it's a similar lip color if I want to spread it out for this because if I'm just going to use it again why not 
Um, and it's not like it's, you know, super duper, you know, all over the face or anything. But that's the basics of the lip color. There's my sparkles. Dark around the sides, lighter in the middle. And then this is what I was talking about earlier um, with my fine brush. Um, if I had needed to, I would have used I uh, would have used this uh, Mary Kay uh, concealer, this little guy, and I would have gone in to just the corners and given it a definition line right down the same way that I do with the eyes when I define underneath that's how I would do that and just bring it all the way across but I didn't because I had done it earlier and I don't want more but it's really good to help define when your lips are closed it helps to look like your lips are more pouty and, and pushed out if you define around the edges plus you can use the concealer to clean up any little mess ups that you may have. So anyway, this is the finished look for the day. I'm bold enough that I will go out in this kind of a green just on any given day for the fun of it. It's really good near holidays like St. Patrick's Day or you know, if you just want to dress up and tell them you're part dragon, hey, why not? But um, you know, you can do this with any of the colors, Valentine's, you name it. Um, you can even do, since that same technique, you could do like a cute little heart or something for Valentine's Day or, you know, whatever you want to do. Possibilities are endless. Anyway, here's the daily look. Hope y'all enjoy. Then I should do that little pose thing everybody does that makes them all look beautiful. Ah. Ooh, was that funny? That was kind of funny. Okay, anyway. Blended Insanity. Like, comment, share subscribe for more videos and see you later. Thanks.